I saw him be um, Bradley Price um, in 2004, mm. and since then he's drifted out of the picture. And, you know, when I got a phone call from James Obola, a uh, heavyweight that I used to manage in, in the 90s, and he said he was looking for a promoter, he was now managing at Josie, would I be interested? And, you know, I didn't have to even remember it, who the kid was. It dawned on me after, but because it was James Obola, and I have a lot of respect for him, I said to James, James, let's just get together, you've got my word, we'll do a deal, and... That we'll sign the papers when we when we got time, and you know we've finally done them on the 23rd of February, and I think that's going to be a tremendous day for myself, for Jane, and for Josie. When I just said defeated Brady Prize, it's really a challenge at that time to the likes of Ricky Atkin, but we know where Ricky is now. Do you think they are in any the same class in any way? I think they will be. You know, um, Ricky's going to always looking for opponents. It's all about promotion. Ricky was built up great. Frank Warren done a great job with Ricky Hatton. You know. Sports Network built him into this great superstar, and it's all you know. It's about promoting. A Joe, you can be the greatest fighter in the world if you haven't got a good promoter. You you might as well not even turn up because you're not going nowhere. The joshi has got all the skill. He's got the punching power. But when you beat someone on um, a Joe Kawasaki card in Wales, and you then don't fight for at least two years, there's something seriously wrong. Because, you know, he was brought in to be beaten by Bradley Price. And he upset the apple cart. And um, instead of going on from there, unfortunately, Joseph's <laughs> been sitting on the shelf. But now we're taking him off that shelf and mm -hmm. we're going to repack it. Well, not repackage him because he's never been packaged. We're going to promote him to the world and to the boxing fraternity. And I think 18 months' time, he could be knocking on the door of Ricky Hatton. And if he doesn't justify it, we'll throw him out. <laughs> but I could not wish for anything more better because Frank is somebody that I've worked with for many years. And uh, now that uh, I've had to meet up with somebody like him, that moving around with all these small time promoters, I had to move with a big boy like himself. Now he's by himself, and uh, I phoned him up. So, yes, yes. It's just, a, it's just a formality we have to sign something, but realistically, his word is his word. That is it.